I think we do really good at Serie A. But we have Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano. You remind me of cigarette. He's tall, slim, strong. And always there when I need him. I love Cristiano. Malbro. Oh, Ronaldo. Good evening. Uh, you know, I just want to say I, I signed uh, Martinelli. Oh, that was me, the next Ronaldo, yeah. And uh, Saka, I gave uh, all his uh, burst in the blue. Ah, me. But I never get the credit from nobody. No. It's a good year of my life. I still feel good. I look good. Too good. I'm scoring goals. And of course, I'm getting older. I'm 34. But okay, uh, that means I just have maybe two, three, four more decades at the top. See! Good evening! Uh, no, there's no problem at Manchester. Uh, you know, we're all very happy here. Uh, more than you believe. More than you believe. Uh, you know, we had a really good result against Fulham in the FA Cup, 4-0. Uh, all of the supporters that came to the game were very happy. Yeah. All 64 of them. Yeah. Uh, the Premier League is over. Um, Liverpool have been phenomenal. Uh, but uh, they've had a a lot of money, you know, to, to spend 75 million on a centre back. <laughs> like, pff, it's a lot of money. And uh, well, is the job here is not easy uh, with a small budget of uh, only, you know, a shoestring of two, two billion pounds. Uh, yeah, it's not easy. I need fullbacks. More than you believe. More than you believe. Yeah, look, it's, uh, it's not like it's been doing, obviously, and I'm, I'm just very excited about getting back and uh, trying to do my job for the team. Uh, I spoke to the manager, you know, I know my role in the squad, and it's like, I just managed to get goals. And uh, I love scoring goals, you know, and I remember I've got, scored so many goals, it's like every time I think of myself, I'm like, <laughs> you know, it's, it. it's really incredible, so yeah, I can't wait to score my goals. Uh, yeah, I'm very happy here at uh, Inter Milan. Uh, it's so good to be away from the Premier League, it's no good. No, there's the best league, Syria has the best players, of course. And uh, we just signed a new player, Christian Eriksen, uh, from the Premier League. Uh, hopefully, he'll take no time to settle. Uh, the other 20 Premier League players in the squad, uh, they should help him. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, the best league. Yeah, obviously, I'm delighted to announce I've set up my own team in uh, the United States of North America. Um, I wanted to call it something original. So I went with into, Mila into Miami, um, you know, we're looking to buy players, uh, young players like Messi, Bale, Suarez, Ronaldo. You know, if we can't get them, then we're going to go for players like Cruyff, Maradona and Pele. I know they're old and that, but it's only the MLS and, you know, if you're old enough, you're good enough, isn't it? I have returned to save Milan. Los Angeles was too small a town for Zlatan. One day I will return to my home to play. Back to Malmo? No. Bethlehem. That is my home. I was born in Bethlehem 2,000 years ago. My mother's name is Mary. My father, Joseph, he was a carpenter and a great winger. I have come back to Milan to score in accordance with the scriptures. Do this in memory of Zlatan. Sorry I'm late, bruv. Took us forever to get out. Oli was at the wheel. Look, you know, I know what I said, I said give him the contract, uh, give him what he wants, I said all that, and, uh, but I think now Oli may be the right guy for the job, because uh, I think he's got a vital experience in fighting relegation. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he got Cardiff relegated. Oh man, can we just give it a gigs at the end of the season? I know I won't regret saying that. Okay, Jamie Carragher here, and I'm joined here by Gary Neville. Gary, I just want to talk about Ali Gunnar Solskjaer and Man United. Okay, now... Does a lot of people, including myself, think Ole should go? Listen, Ole needs more time, right? I know we've been dreadful at times, but... Daddy, you didn't let me finish. You're always interrupting me. Right, Ole should go. Another 10 or 15 years as manager, he's... He's doing a great job. It's the Manchester United board that need to go, right? Ed Woodward, he's, he's pathetic, pathetic. We've got to get him out. Daddy, that wasn't used through flares at his house, was it? No, of course not. Why have you got a hat on? It's winter, it's cold out. Why have you got a flare in your hands? Gary, oh my God! Listen, I'm absolutely desperate, right? We've got to get him out. Gary, what are you doing? What are you thinking? 
uh, not many transfers in this situation, of course, uh, as we are the champions of the world. <laughs> uh, things are really good here. We are champions of England, pretty much. Uh, we're in the knockout stages of the Champions League. And we are also still in the FA Cup. And yes, I hear all this stuff all of the time about how bad it is we play our second team in the FA Cup. But look, I want to give the other teams a chance and Shrewsbury. So I really, I insist, I'm going to play our reserve team. Our reserve five-a-side team. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think Tottenham are in a spot of bother, and I? I think they've got to get some players in. They've got to get a couple of reliable strikers, you know. I think, you know, you can't trust Harry Kane. The boy's always injured, you know. I think, yeah, you know, Mourinho's got to sign some top, top reliable strikers. Like, I think guys like Peter Crouch, you know. Yeah, maybe Jermaine Defoe. I think you get him from Rangers. Robbie Keane is still Keane, you know. He's a terrific player. He's a terrific player. I know Robbie's 42, but he's a big 42. He's big for his age. You know, I think he can mix it with the best of them, you know. Benji as well. Benji, say, I could get Benji for you, Mourinho, for 20 quid. You just say the word, mate. Well, no, I think it's important now to give him time, right? Ole? No, 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 not Ole. Uh, Jesse Lingard, right? Ole, no, Ole was the baby face assassin. And now, well, he's more like the baby who faces the sagging, you know. But Jesse Lingard is a fantastic, fanta he's going to be really, really good now. Give him two or three years now, and he'll be, I think, the best influencer in the world. Fantastic, I've seen him on the Insta book, I think he, he's fantastic. Him or Ronaldo, great, absolutely, no doubt about that, fantastic. Well, Luke, regards transfers now, you know, James Madison, he's, a, he's, a, he's got great character, he's a wonderful human being, but we're going to sell him to Man United there, you know, he just doesn't cut it here. And United have become a feeder club for us. You know, you could soon be calling them the, the Leicester City B team. You know, obviously with great character, intensity, and wonderful human being. Good evening. You know, it's not easy, okay? It's very hard, very hard, 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 hard to go to another country to speak the language fluently, okay? You know, you try England, you go to Spain and say, you know, Buenas noches, cara dia? No? Lo siento. Ah, good evening. You know, I must say it's great to be back in Newcastle. I think we're doing all right. You know, uh, hopefully now we can get some investment if the Saudi prince takes over. I spoke to him last night. He knows all about Newcastle. Big Gaza fan. Yeah, Gaza from the Geordie show. And uh, I told him, I said, you know, you really love it here. I said, we've got some of the best donut kebab shops in the country. That's what it's all about, really. Oh, now. Right, Jeff. Look, I think the thing we're kept out here is bing la bang le kling la guy. Uh, is uh, he's having real trouble one-on-one -on -one situations, but he's a player, you know. You know, I'm hearing that the uh, guy Numblum Bumbler Bay is he's injured again, which is a real blow for Tottenham, real blow. Uh, and then it calls for Arsenal the suspension of uh, Ag Bangla Bang Gang Gang Gang. I mean, I expect uh, Alexandra Lucas Aiden and Pete B to 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 fill in there. And uh, look, there's no stopping Liverpool. I mean, not with Van Dijk. Oh. He's hard. He's an hard player, Jeff. I mean, in this moment, we want to focus on winning the, the Champions League and winning the Premier League and hopefully staying unbeaten in the Premier League. That would be amazing, uh, but very, very difficult in this situation, of course, for sure. Uh, you know, we're going to be playing against a lot of teams who will be fighting for their Premier League lives, for sure. Uh, you have teams like Watford, Norwich, Bournemouth, Manchester United. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Well, I've seen many a transfer window in my time. Uh, you know, I remember my first transfer window I was involved in uh, 97 years ago. Uh, since then, I've gone on to uh, manage, transfer and destroy some of the best players in the world. Um, you know, I managed uh, the Inter Milan. I remember I came in, a couple of good transfers. Uh, I remember I transferred out uh, Roberto Carlos. He was a liability, that boy. Always attacking at the left back and wouldn't listen to me. So I got rid of him and sold him for a tidy profit to Real Madrid. I never heard of him after that. Uh, I wonder what ever happened to Roberto. You know, we have a lot of injuries. You know, you've Harry Kane is injured and Don Belli. If these guys are not injured, these players, we are top of the league. But I think there's a conspiracy against Jose. Mm -hmm. Everyone's out to get me. I mean, I think the FA. The referees, the fourth officials, the PFA, the MI6, the VAR, the VAR, everyone's out to get Jose. I think so. 
I tell my therapist this last week, I said, they're all out to get me, you know. <laughs> but she thinks I'm paranoid. But I don't know. I think she's also out to get me. I prefer not to speak. I have nothing more to say. Nothing.